exodus of this newfangled world falls deaf into my ears. I escape with my hands tied within the ropes of disillusionment, but within this world, I find this eerie sense of solace. Following the links within which two strangers were in cryptic, the calligraphy of their lives, whose memories went through every papyrus like page, bound and tethered together with the memories of the world those was before. I am their son, the son of azure pigmentation, of the colors of the Pacific, dancing waves across the crimson bloodline, whose sanguine reflection reminds us of the undying flame of independence that was once flickering beneath this Sibuian pastel. Like the flag, I am sewn together with the backdrop of the sun, whose identical rays shine between three folded stars, whose glow guide me through this age. Son of immigrant history, raised by the reality that my world no longer bears any resemblance to the past. But I am alone. The threads of displacement run through these veins, no longer reflecting the identity of the parents that created me. Yet every physical trait or remnant of a story that I never knew is as if I looked into a mirror and saw no reflection of me at all. Just an empty shell. which makes me nothing more than human and vulnerable. I yearn for the immortality of their love. But what if I confess to you that I no longer knew myself before the ghosts of my parents' past visiting me? What if I tell you that they left me alone in this bleeding earth, alone and infantile, treated to a game of life and famine in which I hunger for every ounce of them, these memories, these memories mocked us Catching any fire of hope and dousing it with loneliness for they. They are no longer here. Anak, we never left. Why have you forsaken me? Anak, we've been here since the beginning. The tip of my tongue is frozen. Shut down one of the lyrics of which I can't hear nor understand. The words and the lyrics made it so difficult for me to remember. And yet, I saw you. The two sisters. The sibling bond who derails this detachment from me. You, who reminisce all the memories, all the lessons that your family has taught you not to forget. And yet, I still feel lost in this world. Lost without my parents' touch. But then I saw you, the son who came back. You who fell beneath the physical vices of lust and liquor of the human fragility that made your soul seem so weak. You came back. You held on to the peaks of your faith, remembering the humble beginnings of your family. You held on to them and in open arms realized the mistakes that held you hostage. This is an angelic visage cradled you back to the womb that nurtured your soul. And yet I still feel so discolored. Not realizing the heroic bloodline within me, but would you have believed me that these eyes saw love love's blade pierced through colonial Spanish armor? That these eyes and hands felt as if they touched the flesh that manifests in past the limits of what's the next word? The facade and fabrication with which my Filipino history plays no dwelling. And yet you, the student, you woke up dreaming past historical wordplay. You will now paint the canvas from which you paint your own stories. You've awakened the movement and reached the struggle. Sacrifice. We made this 
people who've experienced so much more meaningful. You, who engineered change this campus, but more so, taught us not to forget and to cherish every single ounce of life that we may have taken for granted. For every brushstroke, every color, and every hue of your love still remain true and vibrant today. And as the memories of the past form a silhouette of hope, we rebuild, we reflect, and we remember. And though my parents have left their stories unfinished, I now see this isn't just my legacy. This is our legacy.